Welcome to the spelling video for this week. You ready? Woo -hoo -hoo. Here we go. Don't forget your spelling or your spelling scissors. <laughs> spelling scissors. Don't forget your glue stick. Um, pencil. Make sure you got some lead on there. A nice something. I keep a zip top bag, but you can keep something to keep your words in. Spelling book. And of course, the spelling words, the man of the hour, or woman of the hour, or the words of the hour. Either way, makes no difference. So let's me. get started. Okay, looks like we're going to be doing suffixes, A-B-L-E and I-B-L-E. Ooh, these are going to be two that are going to be very interesting to find out about. Because I think, if I'm right, we all have a little bit of problem figuring out able or ible when we're trying to spell our words. Which form do I use? Do I use the ible or do I use the able? Am I able or am I ible? I don't know. So I'm going to do my cutting. I always cut them out a lot at. Get rid of these because we don't need that anymore. And then I'm going to cut these up here. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm going to cut this like this. Go across here. And then I'm going to cut this straight up and down. That way I can cut these as needed, or I'll make sure that they're all nice and neat. So they don't have to be perfect, but they should be neat. It's so much easier to, uh, to sort them when they're neat. Then I cut them three at a time. Oh, look at there's compatible. Looks like it's compatible. So we got to figure out why these are the way they are. That might help us in our spelling. All right. So let's say our words. Oh, yeah, let's say our words. Let's lay them and say them. Enjoyable. We got invincible, formidable, predictable. Oh, those are a little hard to get. Profitable. Make sure that you are saying your words and sorting them out. You might be listening to me say my words, but uh, I'll let you say yours while I chat a little bit. So get all your words sorted out. Make sure you cut them. Please do not just write them. That is not going to help you be a better speller. It's going to help you be a better copier. All right, because you don't cut. You, cutting is amazing because it will actually help your small motor. It will help you be a better writer because you can write neater. If you can cut neat, you can write neat. And then, oh, there's the rest of our, ooh, decipherable. That one's a big one. And then intangible. And then we got a couple more, sustainable. We got combustible and re reproducible. All right, so we got that. I'm gonna cut this off. Shing! I usually just tear it. I'm not too worried about it. Looks like it's gonna leave me a little bit over the top, so I'm just gonna trim a little bit off the top, you know, like a hairdo. And then I'm gonna glue this on the top. So I hope you're all ready for that. Yeehaw! Now, on this one, since it's a able and ible, I'm going to write my words over here, but um, I'll have to write a little bit on that top. But I'm going to do a dash, A-B-L-E, and then underline it. The dash means, you can say it, means there's something before it. I-B-L-E, ible. And then we do have a couple of oddballs. Because there's always one in a crowd that can't be the same, and so we'll call them the oddballs. But that doesn't mean that they're bad. Oddball does not mean bad. It just means a little different. It's not a bad thing, because we still use these words. It's not a bad thing. All right, I'm going to take my exemplars, put them in my baggie, or wherever you're going to put them, and let's get started here. Now, what is the difference between able and ible? Well, I'll tell you. There's going to be another lesson. Sort 53 is actually able and ible also. And it's going to have a couple other rules. But able and ible on 52, what this is, is there's a difference between a base word and a root word. 
A base word is a word that is a complete word. It is complete. We don't, we don't take anything out. We don't add anything. It is complete. So let's do that one first. Enjoyable. Enjoy. There's my base word. See the base? That means it's a word that is complete. And then I add A-B-L-E, which is enjoyable. Enjoyable. So that is one that has an A-B-L-E. That is a complete word. It's a base word. Let's see if I can find another one. Oh, yeah. Let's do this one. Adaptable. Adapt, which is a complete word, base word. And then I add an A-B-L-E, underline the A-B-L-E. So there is your base word. So anytime you are spelling and you have a base word that can be used by itself, add the A-B-L-E. Now, ible is one that has a root word. That means it's not a complete word. It's got pieces of a word so that you can add to it. So it takes away something or something like that. So let's look at this word right here. Invincible. Invince. Invince. I don't know if that's actually a word. I don't think it really is. So invents would be a root word. Got it? Invents. So let's do in vents. Uh, see? Invent? I don't know. So I B L E. So that would be the root word. All right. So let's get invincible out of here because we are invincible. All right, let's look at another one really quick. Um, ooh, here we go. Fees ible, fees ible, fees. Uh, F e a s. No, not really a word. Not really a word. But it is a root word. Ible. So fees ible, fees ible. So there's the able and ible. Ah, but I'm going to give you a oddball, okay? Here it is. For mid. For mid is not a word. It's not a real word. It's a root word. But it's an oddball because there is an A-B-L-E there. So able, but it's a root word, not a base word. But what I want you to remember is most words are going to have a base word. It's going to be able. The root words are going to be able. So what if you miss one or two words that are oddballs when you're spelling? It's okay. That is fine. But these basic ones here that you will see the most are the ones you need to uh, make sure that you spell correctly. There is another oddball or two you'll have to find out. So what I want you to do is I want you to finish these words. I want you to write them out. Make sure that when you underline the A-B-L-E, that there was a real word over here. If you have to look it up, you better look. If you find that this is not a real word, it belongs in Ible. Find out. Check it out. Check out if there's one or two more oddballs. You'll want to know there's actually one. So, just wanted to let you know. All right? Hey, this will help you be a better reader and a better writer. It really will. You'll be able to understand the words more as you find out how to spell these. Hey, have a good day, and we'll see you later.